Okay. Hello? Hello? Okay. Um, tonight was insane. Tonight was very intense. We did a gathering. Gathering. Uh, it is the 22nd or 23rd of August. Something like that. It is a Thursday. Um, yeah. I, I can't write this down because there's too much going on in there. Um, I look quite handsome in this lighting, don't I? In this shirt. Um, it is very... It has been intense. It was filmed. We were talking a lot about the idea of the three months being longer and it not being three months and the process by which volunteers go and new volunteers come. Um, it was intense and we went down down to the bottom of the field and there were there was most of us two volunteers weren't here ray and tom i think they were feeling flustered from quite a heavy day and just the general pressure that has been built up over the past however long um and then we the film crew were here filming us um then we moved up to the fire we continued the conversation for however long and then me charlotte her partner johnny sam uh, we moved up to the kitchen in the main place and continued our conversation. There's part of me which is, the, and I remember having a thought which is like, am I carrying on these really long conversations and with Charlotte and uh, everyone um, in hope of staying here longer? You know, there's like, it might be three months, but maybe the best, vol the best volunteers will continue. So am I trying to prove myself? Am I trying to stand out and prove myself as an asset because um because um uh you know through these conversations because I want to stay here longer I don't know but I realized like I can't just pull myself out of these conversations because what I'm doing is fucking stimulating and fascinating and genuinely very interesting and I I really enjoy and I feel like I kind of flourish in these sorts of conversations um you know how much power should the volunteers have? And what is yeah? You know, what is the remit of the volunteers' power? Um, <clears throat> where is the line drawn between what the volunteers can choose to do and like what is what should only be chosen or said to be done by Charlotte? Um, and what else? Just a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff. Like, was this a good idea in the first place? And why was it a good idea in the first place? Um, how do we quantify well-being? How do we measure that? You know, um, you know, like the thing with the three month thing with like, I'm, I've been here over two weeks, like two and a half weeks. And I feel like I'm just finding my feet, uh, like by three months, will I just have been, will I, you know, have felt, will I, will I come to feel like I'm, I'm a core part of the group and then do I just get like goodbye, you know what I mean? How does that work and how do you replace those core members, the, 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 the three month core members, um, or the three month core members, sorry, uh, do you just, you know, you just replace them and hope that the new bunch are as good, <clears throat> or <clears throat> will be able to uh, function uh, persistently for three months? Do you just keep building this core group and then, you know, um, recycling it, not recycling it, you know, introducing a new group that you hope to establish as core like you know trials are done there's a lot of technical there there are a lot of technicalities that need to be worked through and discussed about you know for this um it's, it's just i don't know it's just it's just so much and i'm a bit apprehensive that someone's gonna walk in because there are footsteps but they're going on upstairs i don't know where everyone is it's like quarter to ten and no one's in here um so yeah uh, good night, really good night. Um, today I've been, over the last couple of days, yeah, today, yesterday, I've been a bit, like, feeling a bit insecure with my sexuality and, like, sexual thoughts and feeling bad and that sort of stuff. Um, after tonight, I don't know, I don't know. Like, I saw Charlotte and Johnny's dynamic and it helped me just see that, you know, there's so much more to life than just sexuality but again obviously I'm not just um, pushing aside the fact that I have this insecurity that I'd like to work through and whatever uh, it's just that 
yeah, it's just that seeing, doing stuff, partaking in these sorts of discussions and expressing myself and listening to other people's ideas and processing them and whatever is um is fascinating and very invigorating, enjoyable. And it's kind of what I feel this is all about. I have more stuff to say, I, th I think. Um, one thing I was insecure about was that I was blowing a lot of hot air. Hot air. But toward the end of the discussion, I, I got compliments from Charlotte and Sam to say, you know, basically to prove to me that that wasn't the case, that I'm smart and measured and whatever. And that was nice to hear because <clears throat> I don't know why I felt that because usually I don't feel like I'm blowing hot air. But I guess it was just because I was in a room with much more experienced people like Charlotte and Johnny, for example, who have done this for years, like the R1 project, which is like a participatory democracy setting. Uh, and, and Sam, who's been project managing for years and just everyone else who's older than me, you know, and yeah, I, I don't know. I just didn't want to feel that way. Or I felt that way. I wasn't sure if that was a valid feeling, you know, valid feeling, you know, um, a, a correct or a, an accurate feeling. Um, so it's nice to hear that it probably wasn't um, so much, so much. But and I, I'm also feeling like I don't want to just be uh, dry stone walling. Part partly because I want to feel like yeah, maybe it's because I want to prove myself and be here longer or whatever. But also genuinely because I feel I can give more than that, I, and that is true. I I feel I can if I can research into stuff. If I can I don't know read about this or that and form thoughts and bring them forth in an eloquent manner for discussion then that can really help this thing function it can be like lubrication and it can be new fuel and whatever i don't know maybe i can be of more benefit here um and i think that's something i want to voice to sam and kai wow well, we discussed so much tonight man and it was really nice um I think the most, I think, um, I don't think at all did I feel I was, you know, I don't know, I'm not even sucking up to Charlotte because even saying that implies that I might have been, I didn't feel, I didn't feel like I was at all. I don't, I don't think others were. Um, I think we've got a good group. I don't think, I don't, I don't think people were. I think we've got a, a group of pretty genuine people. Yeah, um, I think this could be something great, and it is so far. It's like getting getting rolling. Um, the wheels are slowly turning. These discussions are vital, I think, and that's something I I've held since I've been here. And the sharing circle, for example, I think is imperative. Um, and yeah. These sorts of conversations I, I feel I flourish in. I don't have anxiety in them. And I feel I'm articulate enough to voice, give myself a voice and express myself pretty accurately without the like the without the colouring of excess emotion um so yeah yeah okay i think i'm done i think i'm done how do i i don't know how we stop this we do this don't we on the way